Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today I'll be reviewing Stone Double Bastard Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. So this is Double Bastard aged 100% in Isla Whiskey Barrels. So this is going to be a crazy, crazy ass beer. I don't know about you guys, but me personally, I love a good scotch whiskey, especially the Isla kind, PD Smoky, and on the front of this one, they say that this is PD as hell. That I have no doubt about. This is stone we're talking, of course, so yeah, they always go balls to the wall in terms of intensity. I would expect nothing less from these guys. Now, the name to me is pretty funny because if you guys are South Park fans, I think you already know why, but the South Park movie from... I it was 98 or 99 or something like that. It's been a while. It was actually called South Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. So, kind of funny stuff. Regardless, guys, I'm excited to check this one out. Let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Ho, ho, holy shit. Petey as hell. I think sums it up perfectly. Wow, that is super, super intense. God damn, yeah, tons and tons of just peaty, smoky scotch right up front. I mean, it's big, big time peat, just, wow, I, I, <laughs> peaty as hell, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, super sm smoky, it's like a campfire, it's like charred wood, you definitely get like leathery notes, I mean, it's mossy, earthy, just Big, big time peaty, peaty notes, iodine kind of in there too, almost like a little bit of a medicinal character. Yeah, super smoky. I get maybe a touch of vanilla in there, maybe even a little bit of like a caramel, toffee kind of malty sweetness, but this barrel, wow, I mean, whatever the age is in, I've heard that it was either Laphroaig or Lagavulin, I'm not sure which one it actually is because they don't say on the bottle, but whatever barrel the age is in, ho, ho, holy shit did this overtake the base beer. Yeah, that's most crazy. Guys, let's go ahead and take our first sip. Wow. Yeah, that is super, super peaty. Up front, smoke, 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 campfire, almost like that bacony, meaty kind of smoke going on, just super intense. It's like charred oak, charred barrel character, big, big time leathery kind of notes, iodine, very medicinal kind of thing going on too. Wow. Yeah, that... It's super intense. I mean, it's almost more like drinking Isla whiskey than it is like drinking a beer at all, which is kind of surprising because I've had quite a few of the barrel aged variants, Double Bastard. And I got to say that typically the base beer still shines through because Devil Bastard is just a big, aggressive, really intense beer. Typically, it even shines through no matter what, whether they barrel age it, whether they put coffee in it, no matter what kind of changes, it's still always pretty much Devil Bastard. But this time, I think the Devil Bastard base beer has met its match. I mean, this is intensely smoky, intensely peaty, just crazy, crazy over the top, lots of like leathery notes and Lots of kind of tannic, oaky type of notes in there for sure as well. I do get a touch of vanilla in there, very, very subtle. I even get a little bit of like caramel, toffee, slight subtle kind of malty sweetness to this one. But in general, it is just peaty, it's smoky, it is just super, super over the top. It's got a kind of creamy mouthfeel to it, which I really like. It's definitely on the fuller side of medium body. And I gotta say, there's a decent bit of bitterness. Now, you can't taste or smell any of the hop notes, but you're definitely getting some of that hoppy bitterness for sure in the background, but wow, 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 wow. And I gotta say, though, this is actually pretty damn smooth. For 13%, I really don't have any kind of, like, noticeable alcohol taste, any type of aroma from it. There's a little bit of warmth in the chest, but... It's actually pretty smooth. Again, though, it is like kind of drinking a peaty scotch more than drinking an actual beer. I mean, the barrels just overtook this beer. Absolutely crazy So, It's a love or hate thing. If you don't like scotch whiskey, especially the Isla variety, 
stay very far away from this beer because you are not going to enjoy it. It's just peaty, peaty, smoky, smoky, campfirey, over the top. In terms of that, you know, there's not much of the double bastard base beer left at that point. However, if you like Isla Scotch Whiskey, I think this beer you're going to really enjoy. I really like it. That being said, too, though, I think maybe a little bit less time or maybe even a little bit of some fresh beer blended back in would help balance this one out, but I actually do really, really enjoy this. So in terms of a rating, guys, I am going with an 8.9 out of 10. I think it's a great beer. I don't think it's amazing. Again, it could use a little bit more balance. I do really like Isla Scotch Whiskey, so if that wasn't the case, I would probably hate this beer. I'm sure a lot of people out there dislike this quite strongly, but I also have a sneaking suspicion that a lot of Scotch Whiskey drinkers probably really dig this one. So, cool stuff. If you guys have tried this one, I would be curious to know your thoughts down in the comments below. Alrighty, guys, that does it for this beer review. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button. If you would like to see more videos, please make sure to subscribe and remember, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. Cheers.